self-confessed wag wannabe Andrea Hornby lives in Oldham in a three-bedroom semi with her plumbing business manager like husband, Steve. <laughs> they have a baby daughter, Tanya. And then there's Abby, 11, and Jake, 7. Andrea's children from two previous relationships. For 34-year-old Andrea, looking good is a full-time occupation for one person only, Steve. It's very, very important to me to look nice to my husband because there's always a chance that your husband may start looking elsewhere. So she can devote every spare moment to her man, there's a 7pm curfew on the kids. They won't come to me because they keep kissing in bed. If you devote your life to your children and neglect your husband when your kids are 15, 16, 17, they're going to leave home and what you're left with. In Lewisham, South London, working mum, veterinary nurse assistant Kathy Burner, 30, is the breadwinner. Her husband Darren, 27, is a stay-at-home dad to their nine-month-old son Kurt. And Nadine, Kathy's ten-year-old daughter from a previous marriage. In their rented two-bedroom maisonette, family comes first. If we're not together, then something doesn't feel right. Andrea and Kathy have agreed to swap husbands, homes and families. What happens when a wife has to cope with a husband with old-fashioned ideas? We ain't living in 1941. I think it is, it is. What happens when kids have to take a back seat? Hang on a minute, no, do not shout no, at me. No, I will. Do fuck your team, yeah? Go, go yeah. fuck yourself. I will. Not bad. And how does it feel to be told that it's all your fault? It just seems that this whole thing is about me. stay-at-home mum of three, Andrea Hornby, thinks she was born into the wrong life. I admire the wag lifestyle. I really like Katie Price. If I could swap lives with somebody, I would definitely want to be her. And, I struggle not to care too much. I see and she'll do whatever it takes to emulate her heroine. She went really, really saggy after having the children. And I wanted them back to the way they were when I was 18, nice and pert. It costs just under £5,000. Best five grand we ever spent. Steve, 35, is top of the pecking order in the Hornby household. I like her looking good. It makes me feel like she's devoted to me. Andrea and Steve were childhood sweethearts who rediscovered each other. Me and Stephen went out when I was 17 and he was 18. It was definitely the first love. I was on Friends Reunited one day. So I emailed him and we met the next day. And that was it. Uh, we, we met every single one's time from then on. We were both with our, um, our partners at the time. I just knew I wanted Andrew. And same, I wanted you, darling. Yeah, you got me. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> and since getting him three years ago, she's keeping him. Her devotion to Steve sees Andrea titivating herself for at least two hours a day and slipping in and out of three outfits in between looking after baby Talia and making the house perfect for when hubby gets home from work. Seven-year-old Jake and Abby 11 take a back seat. Tea's eaten alone while Talia gets hers in the lounge and every evening at seven o'clock sharp, they're banished to their rooms. I spend a lot of time playing in my bedroom. I'm not allowed to go and sit with my mum and Stephen because they like their alone time. I'm definitely not one of these earth mothers. I really do prefer my children when they're asleep. Yeah, I think we are a bit selfish. Our family revolves around me, Andrea and Talia, and then it's Abby and Jake now and again. When Abby and Jake are on the loose, Andrea finds them a bit of a handful. The kids argue constantly. You know, gets on my nerves, it really just gets me stressed. Right, start with the crying now, Jake. You're nearly eight years old. Meal times are particularly bad. Jake has a problem with his eating. Oh, I don't like it. Why do you want to do this? I'm not doing anything bad. Do you want to make your sister cry? It gets too much for me and I get all stressed and get headaches. Why do you want to upset everybody? Because you've got to eat a little bit of veg. But once they're out of the way, the coast's clear for her and Steve to get up close and personal. That's our time, he's just, yeah, he's boys, yeah. I devote myself to him fully now, you know, he's, he's the most important thing in my life, I love him to bits. 
200 miles away in Lewisham, 30-year-old working mum of two, veterinary nurse assistant Kathy Burner, thinks appearances aren't important. I am what I am, and if people don't like it, fine. Her main priorities in life are her job. When I care for the animals, for me, it, it gives me a sense of happiness. And above all, her family. 27-year-old husband Darren, 10-year-old Nadine and baby mm -hmm. Kurt. They've been together for four years. My favourite thing is obviously being with my family we're all together having a giggle. If we're not together, then something doesn't feel right. Do you want to school? Me and my mum, we're really, like, really best, best, best friends. And stepdad Darren treats Nadine just like his own. Me and Nadine made a, a good bond from the start. I call him dad because he is like a dad to me, really. People that don't give up their free time for their children when they have the chance, well, what is the point of them having a family if they haven't got the time? To keep the burner household ticking over, house husband Darren yeah. holds the fort. I do uh, most stuff around here. I look after the baby and entertain him through the day and the cleaning. Once a week, he relinquishes his domestic duties and pounds the beat as a volunteer for the British Transport Police. But pulling together and playing together as one big happy family has taken its toll. We don't necessarily focus on our relationship in, in a major league because we're, we're for the children. Once the kids and pet rescue dog Crystal are tucked up in bed, Kathy and Darren are too pooped for romance. We both tend to uh, separate, doing our own thing. I wish that sometimes Darren could just surprise me with... Um, flowers on impulse just for him to do something that I wouldn't expect. Both wives have agreed to swap Why husbands, homes and families yeah. without any contact. Andrea has high expectations. Somewhere with a mid or pool would be great. Yeah, I brought my swimming costume just in case. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Oh no, I want to go home. <laughs> There's a lot of mirrors, so they both take a lot of pride in their appearance. I don't know where our clothes are. They're the baby's things. You have to wear her clothes, I don't understand. One thing I have noticed, they've all got TV, so they might be spending quite a bit of time with the TV on. He's a policeman. Oh my God. Yeah, let him try and police me and see what happens. Are the children left a lot of the time to entertain themselves? That's the question that I'm having. I think, yeah, it's going to be one of the longest weeks of my life. Each wife has left a manual as a guide to the running of her house. Darren is a house husband. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and I'm a full-time housewife and stay-at-home mum. I work as a veterinary nurse assistant. I do come across some hurried things, but if you don't mind vomit, poo, scans, ticks, or pus, <laughs> you'll be fine. No, I won't. <laughs> my husband definitely comes first in my life. I devote a lot of time and energy to Steve. After all, your kids are going to grow up and leave home, aren't they? That upsets me. We are very family orientated and everything is geared around the children. Well, if seeing her children was so important, she wouldn't be out at work, would she? I had Abigail and Jake from previous relationships. Now that I've got my dream man, I want more time to spend with just him. So they go to their rooms at 7 p.m. For Christ's sake, no. He took them on as part of the package, didn't he? Darren and I rarely get a couple time together. The last time we had an evening out, just the two of us, was September last year. I find it strange that, you know, people don't want to spend time with their husbands. Why get married in the first place? I'm a wag wannabe. I don't know what they mean by that. Oh, it's a footballer's wife wannabe. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm... I had my boobs done last year. It cost 5000 which we couldn't afford. So I decided to put it on the credit cards. I'm going to have to go for a break in a second because it just makes me want to cry. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Nadine? Yeah. Hi, sweetheart. Are you okay? Yeah. Good. When I came through the door, I thought she was um, uh, 
Shall we call? Hello, oh, hello. Oh, nice Darren. to meet you. Mm. This is uh, oh, this is my boy Kurt. Hello, gorgeous. This is Crystal. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Steve. Hello. This is Talia. Hi, Talia. This is Jake. Yeah. Nice, Ali. nice to meet you. Under Andrea's rules, Kathy's like barely met her new family oh, before it's the seven o'clock curfew. You're going to need to get ready for bed, apparently. Okay. And do what you usually do. I'm ever so sorry. Yeah. It's kind of early for you, but oh well, it's what you're used to. I feel a bit miffed because I'm hardly ever tired. I don't see the point in going to bed at that time, but you know, rules are rules. Once it's all quiet on the Western Front, it usually oh, means yeah, cosy adult everything. time. I mean, but Cathy cuts straight to the chase. Start your own business. But what if they say, went to bed, say half an hour later, and just for half an hour you just did something with them like a little game, or just chat about the day, and then that's it. Just say once a week. Problem is though, uh, with Jay, he doesn't want to talk. You know, no. he doesn't even want to eat. He just wants to play his games. Uh, Abby, again, do you just wish wants that he would talk to you more? Yeah, it'd be great, and it's probably half, half Jake's problem. I think things are fine the way they are. We could possibly do more together, but Jake's just interested in playing games. Yeah, this is a nice house and everything. They've got nice stuff and all that. But they're poor, really, when it comes to the happiness side of it. Yeah, in flying. Lewisham, Andrea's yeah. made quite an impression by? on Darren. Yeah. Well, she, she's obviously... Well presented. Obviously, he's breastfed, so he might want to try and go for because she's not exactly small. So, she, you know, if she cuddles him, he might. Hey. <laughs> there you go, that's better. After enduring a family supper and none of the TLC she's used to, Andrea wants to know where romance figures in Darren's life. She's more loving and romantic than I am. Right. She'll, she'll hug me. That's quite, you know, shocking to me that if I want to avoid... Because I'm always doing stuff like that with Stephen. I feel trapped. I don't like, okay. to, be, I don't like to be trapped. That will break my heart. Yeah. If my husband did that. How can a marriage work like that? So definitely I'll be seeing if I can maybe help him in any way. Or point him out to a good divorce lawyer. It's before six o'clock in the morning in Oldham, and Kathy right. Berners got to devote herself to her new husband Steve by cooking up a gourmet breakfast of eggs Benedict. It's got a bit creamy now. Mm. It's a bit on the runny side, yeah. That's it, okay. So I'll have some eggs on the top. Once that's sure? fine, yeah. Eggs are a bit hard. See you later on. I see you later on the day. She's going to struggle. She's getting stressed already just over eggs, so nah, she'll struggle. With Steve out the door, seven-year-old yeah. Jake staging a yeah, mutiny well, over milk. We, we, we don't normally have it in breakfast. Jake, we do. She's telling lies. Oh, don't, don't argue. What? Liar, liar. You see, your dad would be really unhappy with me if I... Um... He's not my dad. OK. Stepdad. Stepdad. He's classed as family. <coughs> and things quickly go from bad to worse. <gasps> That's not acceptable. She's not when she's got a baby in her arms. You don't do that. That is not acceptable. Now, come on. He's upset now because I told him off because he kicked and shut the baby. With mum away, Jake's missing his real dad, who he sees every weekend. He loves his dad and he, he likes living there. He hates it here. No, what are you doing? What's that? Leave it to it. He can't do anything like that, he's stressing. He's just got to leave him to him. And I think we've got quite a happy little boy here, you know what I mean? All right, do you take your back lunch and then you go to school and I'll see you later? Don't worry, we'll sort something out, yeah? Come on, we have to leave. In Lewisham, wannabe wag Andrea Hornby's finding it a dog's life. Comes across this type of woman that would mince along the street, you know, a bit like Paris Hilton type thing, you know, with a lead like that. <laughs> <laughs> While Darren looks after the kids, 
Instead of her usual two-hour regime, Andrea's got just one minute to scrub up for duty in the vet's surgery. I'm really dreading having to go out and spend the whole day looking like this. Billy. Well done. You want me to do that? Oh, it's got blood on it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I thought it'd be a lot less minging than what it is. It's I've just had to get a cotton board and stick it in a dog's mouth and clean pus out of its cleft palate. Oh my God. Oh, it was disgusting. In Oldham, Jake's mutiny has rattled Kathy. It seems like Jake doesn't want to be here. It's like he counts down the days till he sees his father and that. But she hasn't got time to worry now, as she has to get down to Andrea's rules. A two-hour beauty session. Man. It's just so ridiculous. I waste my bleaking time doing rubbish. For what? I'm not even going. I'm only going to school. I'm not seeing anybody. So you can see she's used to seeing this. It's kind of sad, really. Oh, I can't sit here with this makeup. Then there's a regulation wardrobe check. That's just unenvironmentally friendly and unnecessary. I'm not dirty. What's the point? I feel better. I feel boiling bloody hot now. I could really do with getting out. I don't want to stay in here all day in front of a mirror. Pretending to be like mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? You know what I mean? It's just not, not right. 4 pm, and Jake and Abby are back home, but he's in no mood for a truce. If you had to just have one little bit, <laughs> no. No, I'm a bit of broccoli. I just want chips and that. Why don't you like vegetables? Jackie, you've tried all of them. Jackie. Do you think I'm going to let a seven-year-old tell me what to do? No, I'm not. Hey, that mum, she's a daft duck. Oh, I'm not eating it. Oh, I'm not having that. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't go down too well. Just one carrot, yeah? Shut up, you little git. Jake's calling names about people, but I would expect worse. <coughs> Go on then, show me. Good lad, good sport. It's not that bad, is it? I think it would be nice if she ate with them. Kathy's won the vegetable war, but the battle lines are drawn. I want to go to my dad. Because I get spoiled. I don't want to get um, any detention or any things from this house. Have you ever, like, sat down and spoke to him about how he feels about um, the relationship with his dad and you? No, I don't think he's spoken to either. Why? I just you know, I just wish that, that um, Jake wasn't so troubled sometimes. It just seemed really troubled. Yeah, I mean, Jake being troubled has nothing to do with me. Mm. Just being his stepfather, you know. I just think he's a typical seven-year-old and he just doesn't want to but be told I mean, to, to do anything. If parents go through split-ups and that, it, it can affect them. Yeah, it can, it can affect me. I've been through it. You know, I've got a separated family. I don't think it affected me. Well, they won't come to me because they keep kissing in bed. She's basically saying that I should be more of a father to Jake. Um, I know what she's saying, but at the end of the day, it's like I said, Jake's, Jake's got his own father, you know. There's, there's no issue here. In Lewisham, Andrea's not impressed with Kathy's life as a working mum. I definitely wouldn't sacrifice time with my baby to go and do that. I mean, we both want to go out to work. Yeah. Um, I mean, how does your husband feel? In order for us to have the kind of lifestyle we have, he feels it's his responsibility to go out and do that. Mm. He just seems lazy. Why isn't he at work? There's no reason why he shouldn't go out to work. You know, they'd have more money. It's ridiculous. And family time, burner style, isn't mm. to her taste. <clears throat> when Stephen comes home from work, mm. it's really important time just mm. to make that connection again. <coughs> you know, because if, if you come in and you, you're rushing about and you're each doing your other thing, yeah. 
like I said. Time passes and I think you grow further and further apart. We, we do have our affection at moments. It's just not constantly like, uh, like what they do. There's no bedtime curfew alive. in the burner house. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? You see, I'm quite red. Yeah. yeah. So when the dean finally goes to bed at nine o'clock, Darren can't wait to show Andrea the man he once was. You know, I used to be healthy, yeah, yeah. I used to be pretty slim. And that's what two years ago? Yeah, like, yeah. And it's got him reviewing the work situation. It's something I always wanted to do. I, I thought about it at the age of 18, but... The way he's stored, you know, to his... He's sort of, like, got his shoulders back, whereas you're, you're more like that now. Did you think it's like, when I'm out there on my own, I'm a different person? Exactly, you yeah. That you, especially when you put your uniform on, mm. that it gives you a reason to be proud. Yeah, being a, a house husband, uh, I suppose, you know, it has its ups and downs. You does get frustrating and pretty much boring sometimes, you know. Um, in some ways, yeah, I would like to um, to go back out and to work. He needs to put his foot down a little bit. She needs to take the pants off a bit and hand them over to him because he, you know, definitely needs to wear them for a while. In Oldham, after doing one of Andrea's regular gym shifts, Kathy gets home to a bit of a surprise. Jake's, Jake's ringing his dad, oh, saying he's, he doesn't want to be here. Uh, oh, no. So his dad's going to pick him up in 10 minutes. It was a shame, it would have been nice to have got to know him. Yeah, he'll be back tomorrow. You'll see my dad, that's nice too. My dad's nice. I hope, I hope I'll have him down with you. You want him? No, don't upset you. You want him? He didn't surprise me, you know. Jake's sort of drama queen. You see what it's like for attention, you know. And that was it, that was his moment of attention. And I can kind of understand why they got, you know, why Jake don't really want to be here. I mean, who wants to be someone where they're all shoved in a room all the time? And next morning, she's in there all guns blazing. I don't think that you're as bonded with the older children as as you could be. After all, you married uh, Andrea. You need to treat those children as if you've adopted them. Bottom line is, you can't keep justifying things. I'm telling you how it is. That's what's happening. That's what I see. If you come in my house, you can feel the love in the house. You can hear the Dean laughing with Darren downstairs or... I know what you're saying. As outside, it probably looks that way. It does. If I was to come every night and take the kids out to the park every night, nothing would be different. We've got the perfect family environment with each other but we haven't got the perfect home you've got the opposite you've got the perfect home and all these nice things but your family dynamics is pfft at the moment i just don't think it's quite as simple as she thinks it is you know if we had the time then fair enough but you know with the current situation we just we start our time for each other it just can't be asked really can he kathy's not the only one getting something off her chest a lot's being put on your plate and I don't yeah. think it's fair that one person does all the all the things by themselves. Yeah, ideal. I, I would prefer to go out to work and... Uh, I, think you'd, and I think you'd definitely be a lot happier. Yeah, it does get pretty mundane and there's this times I just think, God, I've, I've got to get out. Cathy has made a lot of references to how important her family is to her, yet she'll choose to go out and do a job that pays to me, peanuts. Yeah, yeah. So you've put her first because you mm. know she loves doing what she does. Yeah, yeah. And yet she seems to not really appreciate you. She's very bossy and dominating, you see. It's like another thing in here she's mentioned and all the fact that you're, you're not as romantic as what she'd like. Mm. You can't treat somebody like shit and then when you want a bit of, you know, cuddle, cuddle, kissy, kissy, you can't expect them to just change the feelings like that. and. Mm. And yeah, I don't. Oh, I feel dead, uh, dead stressed for you. <laughs> In Oldham, there'll be no grooming and few chores as Kathy's breaking, breaking Andrea's rules to be and honest, the kids know, first. She, she really needs to get her priorities right because you know this is this is wonderful. You know she's playing. So I know this is not Andrea's routine, but I can't help it.
Well done. She could probably spend less time on the makeup, more time playing with her, perhaps, than she does. Because you can see Tyler loves it. Um. <laughs> and Talia's invited to tea with Abby. Oh, no, it's naughty, but it's got to be done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. That's probably the best moment I've had since I've been here. How's it going? She's been brilliant all day. But I didn't do the makeup regime because I wanted to just play with Talia more. They had dinner together. All right. Oh, she sat there having a really good time. She was good. Uh, it was so funny. And we were but all, all this mutiny we has given Kathy a headache. Yeah. Now, can I ask you a really big favour before you quickly go to the gym? Because cool. I actually have suffered a bit of a headache today because I've not felt very well. Could you bath and put to bed for me? That's all I want you to do. What time um, is it now? To be honest with you, I don't think she's ready for bed yet. To be honest with you, Kath, I'd, I prefer to get the gym out of the way first. Um, yeah. But to be honest, I'm really not feeling 100%. You took the tablets for your headache? No. Uh, well, there you go, you see. I'm not surprised she's, uh, you know, trying to bend the rules already, you know. Um, so many rule breaks, you know, it's a bit, a bit naughty, but... I'm sick of Andrea's routine now, and I can kind of understand why she goes and wants to live a, a life of a celebrity or whatever you call it. And Andrea's not enjoying the realities of Lewisham life. Nadine and Darren are out for four hours at Sea Cadet, leaving her all on her lonesome. And really, she'll be here spending time with with me. It's important for Nadine to have that social outlet. And so, unfortunately, you know, you have to sacrifice a few things. It's very, very lonely here. If I was at my house now, I'd be, you know, having tea with my husband and cuddling and stuff. So I'm going to turn this house on its head. You know, they're not going to know what's hit them when I've brought all my stuff in. <laughs> In Oldham, it's all out war. You just come in here and expect things to be just done, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but you're my wife. You, you, you're yeah, acting well, as if you're my wife. And, well, you know, I'm, real, I'm bound to expect, you know, if you I know, but when Darren comes Andrea, home, he don't behave like that. He, he, he don't treat me like I'm... So you find that disrespectful that I expect me to on the table? We ain't living in 1941. I don't take no shit from a bloke and I can wipe the floor of him with my mouth. But you came in and all you was thinking about was what you wanted to do. You wasn't thinking about the fact that I wasn't feeling well. It was about what you wanted. And this, this is what you need to change with because you're being selfish. When I looked at that manual, do you know what it, do you know what it felt like to me? Cool. That you just, that both of you just wanted them to not be there. That both of you just wished that they weren't in a way so you could just be on your own. Just come home from school, feed water them like they're dogs and piss them off to bed. I mean, seven o'clock is early. I think it's, I think it's way too early for an, for an eleven-year-old to be going to bed. Well, you put your bloody foot down. Yeah, then. no, I have done. I mean, I, we've had this conversation plenty of times. And my my priority, obviously, more than the kids, is Andrea. I admit it. It might be selfish. As I don't know. I do put me before Abby and Jake. I suppose this is what I mean about sacrifice. If I'm going to sacrifice things, then I'm, I'm, I've basically got to forget about me. You know, you need. That me time. It's just finding the right balance of me and them. You consider it a man, really. Let's put it this way, when the rule changes tomorrow, he's gonna have a big rude awakening because I'm gonna change everything to my specifications to what I want. It's rule change, and both wives have got plenty up their sleeves. I wanna thank you for making me so welcome in your home and family. Uh. But this family needs far more structure. You need your own space and time, Nadine, and so do we. You will go to your room at 7 p.m. Darren, you will then have a candlelit, relaxing bath. Come down and have a drink, and we'll treat ourselves to a facial mask. Mm. The family is a lovely family, but Steve, you really need to make the effort to be a better stepdad. The very fact that Jake doesn't want to be here speaks volumes. It's nothing to do with me not spending time with him. You know, I mean, obviously he'd rather be with his dad. Okay, cool. You're just missing his dad. I'd like to spend more time here because he'd be fun. Hmm. Oh, bless her little heart. <laughs> What's the point of having a family if you don't spend as much quality time together as possible? So when you come home from work, Steve, we're all going to have tea together. Mm-hmm. 
From now on, no child will be banned to their bedrooms at 7pm. If Jake comes back whilst I'm here, he can go to bed at 8 and Abby at a quarter to 9. At the weekend, we're going to spend the day together having fun at the park. Then we can come home and make a beautiful collage to remember a lovely day out. Speak to us. Darren, you and Cathy are going to park. Any couple has to work together and make an effort for each other. Darren, yeah. you need to spruce yourself up, get off your ass and get to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> With the help of a personal trainer, we're going to start whipping you into shape. <laughs> you also need to be more of a man and need to feel more like a man than a woman. And I can't think of anything more manly than your work as a voluntary police constable. So you're going to do a full whole day instead of a few hours. Okay. They're gorgeous children and I feel like you should do more things with them so this family can be stronger and happier. You're going to have a day off work to see what it's like for Andrea. You will organise the kids in the morning, look after Talia all, all day and clean the house top to bottom. It's obvious that you're a loving man, so I'm hoping these solutions of mine will make a difference. It's hard thinking I'm not being a good stepfather, you know. I've never really thought of it like that. Eating together as a family, yeah, that was, that was, that'll be just brilliant, that. I know what she's trying to, trying to do. Um, I suppose she's quite right in a couple of respects about the kids. You know, as a couple, she's trying to influence me to get with Kath more in the evenings, uh, rather than just sitting there and kind of switching off and going into my own little world. Nadine could feel that she's pushed out and that we don't, you know, kind of don't want her around anymore. Mm, yeah, that's usually the time where I get to spend time with my mum because she's been at work all day. So I feel a little bit excluded, yeah. For their bonding gourmet experience, Kathy's cooking up one of her favourites, Spag Bol. Oh, one appetit. I've got to point out, we do this occasionally, you know. It is occasionally, but, yeah, Christmas. Yeah. Are you serious? You have a wind up, seriously. I'm mm -hmm. shocked. That's a long time. But this is how nice it is. But the thing is... So what is he saying? You want me and your mum to eat off the table? Yeah. Together and whatever, yeah. Yeah. This is something that your mum needs to, to deal with. Under new rules, Abby also gets to stay up that little bit later. It's bedtime now anyway, so you go and get yeah. a wash. I want to spend time with my mum and I want to spend time with Steve as well and staying up a little bit later just adds that little bit of help. You know, I did actually think of, yeah, we could actually fix something here, family-wise. It's really nice having people eating with me. I didn't feel like a, a youngster anymore, I just sat on my own at the table. In Lewisham, there's no time for family bonding with Andrea in charge. And it's an eat-alone tea for Nadine, then off to bed at 7 o'clock sharp. You can get changed. Into your gym jams yeah. and then stick your DVD on. Honey? <laughs> and it's all quiet. Going to my room at 7, I'm not really happy about because... You know, that's the only time I get to spend with my mum when she comes back in from work. With Nadine out of the way, Andrea can do what she hey, does baby. best. Make her man feel Been good. Been meaning to tell you. I don't know who you are, sir. What I think of you. It's the next three days. <laughs> I'm looking Cheers. forward to it, yeah. And the reason is... If the, you know, the new, new, new rules are quite similar to this, then yeah, I'm quite looking forward to it. But would you like to improve things where the romance and things are concerned? I would, yeah, I would like to make the, you know, more of an effort. I think you, you, you get married and I think that, that's the, the toughest point from then on. It, it's, it's constant work. But, you know, for what you've done around here, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. It's kind of opened my eyes a little bit. But, just kind of knowing where to start, you know. I think um, you've just got to start small, aren't you? Just like little cuddles here and there and, you know, the odd pat of the bum when she walks past and, you know, Stephen tells me all the time, just, you know, you know you're looking really nice. He's got a really, really big heart and I think, you know, Kathy's lucky and should stop giving him as, him as much shit as what I think she does, you know, because you carry on treating people like that and they'll just turn around and walk away. As adult time went, yeah, I think it was. I think it was very good. And at the same time, it's as almost like Nadine kind of just disappeared. 
that's why I think Andrea sends her children up. It's like she sends them up to literally get them out of the way. In Oldham, Jake's heard about Kathy's rule changes and he's back. Just in time to see stepdad Steve swap his plunger for a pan and be a house husband for the day. For the first time in his life, Steve gets a real taste of being a hands-on dad. Jake, your shoes on. Yeah. I call Jake. Jake! I'm not really used to doing the school. Um, I can see why Andrew gets stressed anyway. You know. Nah, never seen house like this. And even for Steve, housework soon takes a back seat. I'd rather play with Talia all day than tidy up. I think, uh, I think this is quite special. We need to do this more often. Looking after Talia's got him thinking about Abby and Jake's routine. Every other weekend, they've got the dads, they're here, they go to school, they come home, tea, bed. They've been doing this for, for so long. Same thing, same routine. If we just like turn that on its head, you know, it'll, it'll just take a little refreshing change for both of them. Darren's taken to the wag lifestyle like a true it's celeb. <laughs> But it's not all a bed of roses. Just money. After a few rounds in the gym, the pain's outweighing the game. One more set. No, 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 see, I'm done. And that's all you've got. Well, no, it's not, but you're trying to edge me on. But at the end of the day, I've got things to do tomorrow. But, you know, I work for the police, you know? Yeah. So, you know, dealing with that day in, day out, and child bloody care. Well, you've got to do, you have got to do a lot more. Yeah, that's understandable. <laughs> but I do things in my time. So don't get edged on by bloody people. It's very hard. <laughs> Something's out around the tank of them, isn't it? I mean, I had to walk out because I, I, I felt like lamping in one, you know. I was just mainly just getting the gist and the idea of what Andrea does and her husband. Obviously, the guy tried to push me when I said stop, and I kind of got annoyed. So much fun in weeks and months. I like riding with Steve, and um, I want it. I want to do it with my mum too. We'll get Andrew another bike. We'll get Andrew doing it as well. You know. The changes of what I've experienced is like, it's like you know, like you've never experienced before. It's like really good, and like you want to do it all the time. So hopefully, mum might get round to it. I think the kids really enjoyed the collage. Glitter everywhere, yeah, but yeah, it was nice, nice to see them enjoy themselves. In Lewisham, Darren's up with the kids, and Andrea's taking a fresh look at her life with Steve. During the week, especially because like he's been at work, I try oh, and you, hold it. you know keep him away from the majority of stresses. So everybody has kids' experiences. Watch I think maybe I do shield him a little bit too much from maybe some of the harsher bits. So yeah, I think I will be a little more relaxed where that's concerned when I go back. But Darren's feeling far from relaxed. It kind of almost feels as if I'm running a B and B here. She she did say to get off my ass and get out to the gym, but that's all well and good. But I'm off my ass at 6:30 in the morning, running this place at home here. It almost feels as if she's she's just here for the the glam in her. Oh no, babe. Um, well, basically, you know, my kids don't don't do any extracurricular activities. Um, so if you know, if we're going like that, then then she wouldn't go. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's your rules. If you really, really, really want to go, and it's going to upset you, if you don't, the last thing I want to do is do that. No, it's fine. Do you want to just leave it for tonight? Yeah? Cool. Right. That's sorted. Okay, don't you? Yeah. Oh, see you later, Mr. Puppet. 
With her rules, Andrea's back to her old ways. Your ear is just a bar. I'm pretty pissed, really. About this good hep thing. You know, yeah, she's got the, the like, bits of the wow factor of like wooing her man over, you know, with, the, with these luxurious baths and the meals and everything. But then when you kind of take a step back and look at the whole picture, yeah, she's not doing nothing with the children. I think they are being kind of fobbed off. There are major cracks, you know, and I think tonight may even crumble. After a difficult day on the beat, Darren's Hello. home, but Andrea doesn't get the reception yeah, she's wanting. Yeah, I'm absolutely knackered. Hiya. Yeah. Busy day? Uh, just a little bit, yeah. To be perfectly honest, I'm feeling really pissed off at the moment. He's walked in, you know, looking grumpy as friggin' hell. Are you hungry? I was Kurt bin, I was Nadine bin, and just like, not even mention me, you know, what sort of day have you had, how are you feeling? Just nothing, complete nothingness. I came in and again Kurt was left to his own devices in, in the walker and Nadine was <laughs> overly keen to see me. You know, is that just me or is that how he treats his wife? You know, when my husband gets home from work, you not that I want to friggin' cuddle off him, but that's what I get off Stephen. You know, why does she have kids? Um, if she doesn't do much with them. Has, uh, has Nadine been watching TV all, all afternoon or...? No. Because, you know, what I'm thinking is, I mean, you don't put your kids into extra activities. Don't, don't even go there, yeah. Well, yeah, I, don't, I, I do not put my kids into extra activities. Yeah. It's their choice. I don't force my kids to do force, anything. I'm not forcing Nadine into it. Just hang on a minute, enough no, with the attitude. No, no, I'm sorry, but you've given me attitude probably all week. Hang on a minute, no, do not shout no, at me. No, I will, do not because shout I'm at fucking me. pissed. I've had a hard right. day, I come in, yeah, Nadine right, sat there. What, fuck you too, yeah, go, cut, go yeah. fuck yourself. I will. Not bad. Yeah, whatever. Tell you what, you're a fucking prick. Yeah, whatever. What a complete and utter asshole! Fucking ridiculous. Kids are sitting on their fucking asses watching fucking TV. Nobody speaks to me like that. You know, I'm not I'm not used to being spoke to like that. I'm so I'm gonna take a fucking prick like him. Bloody ridiculous. You just wound up. Absolutely wound up. No, I don't want to be in the house with somebody like that. I felt physically threatened by it then. She can't understand I'm, I'm absolutely shattered you know so I mean meant to have a go at her it's just you just kind of snap Andrea refuses to stay and takes refuge in a hotel I just wanted to call a taxi and you know just go home and, and run home to my husband because that's just the natural thing for me to do but you know I don't want to be a quitter I don't want to quit just when there's one more day to go It's not just in Lewisham that Darren's coming under fire. In Oldham, Cathy's got him in her sights too. I do feel if he had a job, it would make life a lot better, yeah. At the moment, it's just like, I'm just scraping by the skin of my teeth. The bottom line is he's not proactive. He just, he has excuses all the time. And it's just, to be honest, it's just lame. I want someone to look after me sometimes. With Steve shaping up to her new regime, she's beginning to see some admirable qualities. Well. It's almost Steve would be the perfect husband from a from a from a making the effort point of view. Steve likes to be healthy, he likes to keep fit, and he's, he's self motivated, and I quite like that in a man. And I just wish that Darren was like that. And she wants to unburden herself to Steve. My husband is just deliberately wasting himself away. Really? It sounds like Darren does what Darren Darren wants. I just wish he was a proactive man because it would make me, it's like you're proactive. I wish he was like that. In some ways, you know, I, I do envy Andrea. I mean, my, I think at my, the problem in my house is not so much the children because the children are pretty easy. It's, um, it's, it's me and Darren that always don't agree on things. I'm quite surprised how how everything has just turned around so quickly. The whole emphasis was, was on me being a bad parent and 
basically the, you know the other side of the coin now is 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 she's got a, a bad family life it's the end of the swap and both wives are preparing to go home as andrea's in a hotel there are no goodbyes for her Bye. I've enjoyed the new album and it's really, really good. It was fantastic. Hi, Hi Kathy. You lovely. Hiya. You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Right. I've had a few ups and downs with Jake yeah. this week. But the good news is Steve clearly enjoyed spending time with the kids. Yeah. And the thing that upset me in you the manual... You did spend time with the kids, though. Yeah. Yeah, you did, but, but in the manual the issue, you think, said... We've, we've got to create more time. And I think if we're going to be a better family, it's probably the first step we're going to make. And I, I, have, I have learnt that in this week, that I am going to spend, you know, a lot more time with the kids. All the focus is on basically us being bad parents. But there's a big turnaround. All the problems seem to be... You too. Sometimes you'll, you'll, you'll go in for a, you're going for a cuddle with him and he feels mm. like that. Mm. That must be awful. I couldn't even begin to understand how that makes you feel. But should I tell you how it makes me feel? I just think, so what? I mean, if, if he doesn't want to be with me, he knows where the fucking front door is. He can go, yeah. can't he? I don't, you know, I can get but on with it myself. would you like myself. to do things to, you know, try and get back no, what to be you honest, had? I would like it if he was romantic, if he surprised me, if he actually was more proactive and took fucking care of himself. Well, that's another issue, the money side of it. That like getting a, a paid job. I don't want any particular yeah, job. Yeah, but to be honest, Darren, it's putting too much financial pressure on me to be blunt with yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're wasting your life, basically. Yeah, but the problem is, right, what you don't understand is we live in fucking London, right? Mm. So if I can... Like, shout at me, No, don't. because every time I have this discussion, right... Hey, Darren, I shout just go out, to be shouting at. I just go out and get any fucking job yeah, it just seems that this whole thing is about me. It's not about It me. is. We had an unfortunate incident. We had a thing in the kitchen where Darren just literally laid into me. Oh, Darren. And I was in a corner in your no, kitchen. I was, just, I was, I was making tea. Doing? And no, he just, I, just I had to leave Cathy, frightening me to death. Darren, what is your f Well, we've seen that today already. I mean, you, you flipped already over next to nothing. Darren, you've disappointed me so much. No, no, I did apologise, though. At the end of the day, I'm still a human being. Of course, yeah. You know, and I just, you know, I just had a stressful day and uh, just snapped. I'm just saying, if you continue to not deal with the issues that you have to mm. deal with, then I'm the sort of person that wouldn't think twice about walking off mm. because, I, I, to be honest, I've got the confidence to do that If I, because I deserve better. Mummy? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi, baby, aren't you? Four weeks later, and in Oldham, there have been some big changes. Where the kids are concerned, the kids go to bed later at eight now rather than seven. I get to go on trampoline hot. My relationship with the kids has definitely changed. Yeah, I'm, I'm helping out more. I think I've took quite a lot off Andrew's shoulders, really. Jake's behaviour has improved quite a lot. He knows he can go to Stephen now than rather have come to me. I've stopped being naughty lot, and I think Mum stopped shouting. Yeah, Jake needs a bloke to talk to. He misses his dad, so that's basically what I'm here for. I'm his dad here, so... Yeah. Well, I like Steve more better because he takes us on bike rides. <laughs> And I think we've come together more as a family than maybe what we did before. And the burners have quite literally moved on. They've escaped London for the rural delights of Norfolk. Basically, we, we, we knew all along that we needed to move. There's less stress here, because in London it's busy cars, but here it's nice and peaceful. <laughs> and the country air has given Darren a new lease of life. <laughs> if, you're, if you're depressed and cooped up, you find you don't have the motivation to do anything else. But out here, it's, it's different, you know. Because of my state of mind now, I'm looking at uh, full-time work <clears throat> as a regular officer uh, for the Norfolk Constabulary. And with his new joie de vivre, there's been movement on the love front. The romance. <laughs> yeah, we have Chris in the house. Yeah. 
I think we are meant for each other, actually. I don't believe in all that mumbo-jumbo rubbish, but yeah.